Hey guys, Scott Baxter, USPTA Elite Certified Tennis Coach here. And if you're like most singles players, you've probably been working hard on your technique, but maybe you're not really seeing any improvement. Your technique is getting better, but you keep losing to pushers and junk ballers, and you've been stuck at the same skill level for months or maybe even years. If this sounds like you, I've got some good news. There's actually a simple fix here to finally get you over the hump and to beat those players you always lose to. The problem you run into is there's a ceiling for every tennis player on just how good you can actually get if you aren't making the correct shot choices. No matter how good your technique is, if you're making bad shot decisions, it makes every point harder, and there are certain types of players you just can't beat. Good decision making is the difference between winning and losing. It gives you more time to recover, it turns defense into offense, and it prevents you from beating yourself with careless errors. Making good shot choices is the secret to single success and today I'm gonna to show you the number one reason rec players lose to pushers. If you stick with me through this quick training, I'm also gonna hook you up with something awesome at the end, so don't go anywhere, let's dive right in. All right guys, so let's talk about how to beat these pesky pushers, and I'm gonna give you the secret right out of the gates. The reason most rec players lose to pushers is because they're making mistakes by trying to play offense when they're in a defensive position. I'll say it again. The reason we lose the pushers is we're trying to attack when we're actually on defense. So what I want to do is I want to give you some easy guidelines here to really understand when you're on offense and what to do versus when you're on defense and how to respond and stay in the point to make sure we survive playing these frustrating pushers. So the first rule I want to show you is take each half of the court. So take the deuce court, the singles deuce court, the singles add court, chop it right down the middle. All right, you see I've drawn lines here, I've drawn lines here, and then we're also gonna draw a line right on the baseline. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but I've got a line right up on the baseline as well. Any ball that is hit in front of the baseline and inside of these hash marks in this area, this is an offensive zone. This is where you're allowed to attack. But any ball that's pushed out wide, outside of these outer thirds, near the doubles alley, this is defense. Again, anything behind the baseline that's pushing us back is also defense. So here's the mistake. We play pushers, they're just getting a lot of balls back in play. We end up in a lot of long cross-court rallies where we end up in these defensive zones and we're impatient and we get frustrated. We get pushed behind the baseline, we get pulled out wide. The points lasted three, four, five balls and we've just had enough. It's time for us to take offense or we feel like we're gonna be trapped in this cross-court rally forever, right? wrong and that's the mistake when you're pulled out wide you're out of position you're not balanced it's much harder to transfer your weight this is not the time to try something crazy it's not the time to try and hit a winner or rip the ball down the line you need to continue to play defense from defensive zones defense when you're pulled out wide means cross court it means high it's something with high margin for error that gives you plenty of time to recover back to the middle of the court same exact concept, if you're pushed really far behind the baseline, that's certainly not the time to try a drop shot or to try and rip a winner. You need to be playing more of a neutral or defensive ball back cross court. So that's the mistake that we're making. We're trying to play offense from these defensive zones instead of when we're clearly on offense, when the ball is in the middle third of the court, where we're allowed to step one or two steps inside the baseline and take offense. This is how you're gonna beat these pushers. You're gonna be patient until you finally see a ball, and it might take four, five, six rallies. You might be in a long cross-court rally for seven balls, but again, remember, the beauty of a pusher is they're not gonna do damage. You have unlimited tries here, unlimited opportunities to wait for the correct ball, and when you get that correct ball in the middle third of the court, that's when I want you to take control. That's when I want you to step in, rip balls down the line, follow them into the net, look to sneak in, and close those volleys. That is how we are gonna defeat the pusher. If we keep making these same mistakes, remember the reason we lose to pushers is not because they're beating us, it's because we beat ourselves. So stop making careless errors from defensive positions when you're pulled into the outer thirds or pushed deep. Play patient until you get the ball in the middle third of the court, take control of the point and beat these pushers once and for all. So that's it, pretty simple stuff, right? Technique is obviously important, but no matter how good your technique gets, if you're making bad shot decisions, you're making every point harder and you're gonna lose singles matches to weaker players you absolutely should be crushing. If you liked this quick fix, it's actually just one piece from a course we created called Single Strategy and Tactics. And in this course, Nate and I show you 22 other common mistakes 
and the simple fixes to correct them. Nate and I have been teaching tennis for over 20 years, and these are the mistakes we see over and over again. And once our students stop obsessing over technique and fix these mistakes, the results have been pretty incredible. Club championships, USTA national titles, Division I college scholarships, this stuff really, really works. We normally sell this course for $199, but right now you can buy it for just $49. Bucks. I'm guessing you spent a ton of time trying to perfect your technique, but you've probably never spent any time correcting your shot choices, and the best part is it's really easy, so you're going to see results quickly. We're already making this an easy decision for you with a massive discount, but to make it an absolute no-brainer, I'm going to throw in three amazing bonuses to take your singles game even further. While we know proper shot selection is huge, ground stroke technique is obviously still important, and now that you know where to hit the ball, hitting correctly will certainly help. In bonus number one, our forehand mastery course, we cover everything you need to know about the forehand. We'll show you how to unlock massive forehand power with something called the lag, a simple drill to instantly hit with way more topspin, and a quick footwork fix that will give you a more consistent forehand. We normally sell this course for $99.99, but today it's yours for free when you pick up the single strategy and tactics course for just $49. So that's bonus number one. In bonus number two, our backhand mastery course will show you how to fix three common backhand consistency killers, a simple footwork adjustment that will give you more backhand power, and how to attack those pesky high backhands. This course also normally sells for $99.99, but it's yours again free today when you pick up our single strategy and tactics course for just $49. Bucks. And last but not least, bonus number three. I think we all know that singles becomes a lot easier with a big reliable serve. If you can do damage with your serve, it puts good shots on steroids. You'll rack up free points each game with aces and service winners, you'll start more points on offense, and you'll take a ton of pressure off yourself by holding serve more often. So bonus number three is a course called Serve Mastery that shows you a simple trick to give you more bite on your slice serve, a drill you can practice to finally hit high bouncing kick serves, and how to get the whip effect to generate more power on your flat serve. Again, this course normally goes for $99.99, but it's yours free today when you pick up our single strategy and tactics course for just 49 bucks. So to summarize our game plan here, first, we're gonna fix your shot choices with single strategy and tactics. Then once you know where to hit the ball, we're gonna clean up how you hit the ball with forehand and backhand mastery, and then we'll put your results on steroids by turning your serve into a weapon with serve mastery. This is $500 worth of coaching that will quickly transform your singles game, and you're getting it all for just $49 if you sign up right now. As soon as you complete your order, you'll have instant access to all these courses, and you can start improving your game right away. Lastly, you don't have to risk a single penny here to get all of this coaching. Your course and free bonuses are covered by our 365-day money-back guarantee. Get in there, play with this stuff for a full year, and if your singles game doesn't improve or you're not satisfied for any reason, We'll refund your $49, no questions asked. I'll even let you keep the bonuses for free as a thank you for giving our singles course a try. So that's it. It takes less than a minute to complete your order. You'll get instant online access to our single strategy and tactics courses, as well as your three amazing bonuses. Go ahead and sign up, and we'll see you inside the course.